Okay, so this is Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary on the mission Silent Cartographer on Easy Difficulty. Now, if you are new to Halo Speedruns, I would go to HaloRuns.com for all your Halo Run needs. Now, this will be a commentary run, so I will be quiet in a second once I start talking. For the first time ever. Okay, so you would want to start your timer as soon as you move, as usual. There are very rare cases where you start it any sooner, and I don't, actually don't think that there are any cases that you actually start it sooner. There might be a few cases where you actually end it after, before the cutscene, or afterwards. There's a whole bunch of different timing rules. So basically you just want to walk along this area. Jump when you have a downward area because you go faster. Faster going downhill by jumping than you do uphill. So pretty well you see it over her turned warthog. Let's just turn it over. Just like that. And we're just going to drive away. Marines on this level for us are completely useless. Do not go back and grab any of them. Ignore them. Just go the path I did. And you will be 100% fine. About 98% of the time. There will only be a couple spots where it could be possible. Now follow the route that I do here. And there. If I can get it. Let's see, can I get it? No, now sometimes you can get a checkpoint right there on console and on 30 frames per second on for you PCers out there. Now we shoot out here has been extensively tested that checkpoint and it works every time. So we jump down here and we use our overshield. Now in overshield gives us a little bit of invincibility while it's charging. Only while it's charging. That is why we were able to do that grenade stack in the previous level. So right now we just want to stick that back guy. And sometimes he'll take out both, and sometimes he'll just take out with himself. Now, I wanted to make sure that I got that checkpoint there, so I've had a little bit of difficulty, but it looks like the grunts are going to be not good to me. So we just going to jump up here. Can I stay back here and get a checkpoint? Please? Please, checkpoint, thank you. Okay, I'm going to try a grenade jump that sometimes works. And sometimes it just completely fails like that. So instead, if that happens to you, you just do what I kind of did. There's a little ledge before that bigger ledge that I stepped on jumped up to. Now because I touched one of the grunts, this just got a little bit more fun, let's just say. Okay, sometimes that hunter, you can get a good boost off of him. Sometimes you can't. It just depends on the luck of the draw. And I always grab a plasma weapon off one of those guys because we are facing three elites in this one tiny area 
And as you should know by now, or have noticed by now, plasma weapons are the best to use against, hun I mean, elites. Now there's a sword elite back there. If you notice, we actually assassinated him right there. Yes, it's a little bit of a weird thing. So pretty well just get in your warthog, back up a bit, get out, take care of everything else. And when I say everything, I mean everything that you've skipped before. But you'll see something here. Oh, looks like something took him up before us. Darn it. Well, uh, let's just continue on with continuing on to kill these fabulously annoying invisible elites. Now by this point, this really the end of the mission's on the timer. You can stand up here, you can do whatever you want, you can jump in early, just like that. You can start shooting around everywhere, but really, you finished the entire mission already. So this has been the Silent Cartographer on Easy Difficulty. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Because the next mission that we are going to do is Assault on the Control. And let's just say, that one, the falls on, the skip on that one is really massive. But it's difficult at the same time. It's a really big risk reward deal. So I'll see you all in the next video. And have a great rest of your day slash evening. This is Rafael, signing out.